you are looking live at a football stadium known far and wide simply as the swamp. The University of Florida normally dominates visitors here, but something has been missing the last few years. That trademark flashy Gator offense. Enter new head coach Jim McElwain. He's known for developing quarterbacks. He'll use two tonight as Florida begins a new era in the swamp against New Mexico State. Taylor gets the first carry on a nifty comeback. Lots of tight ends figure in the McElwain offense. Roll out to his left. Harris running all the way for the first down. And so Jordan Scarlett has moved a high snap. Harris tries to get on it, and he does. The quarterback center exchange a priority. Throw in underneath. Aggies are going to rush three. On a twist. They pressure Harris outside the pocket. The Gators are going to have to punt. Of running back Larry Rose. He wears number three. It's a wide open offense. They throw on the second down and ten. There is Morgan on the outside. Teldrick on third down. Rose stretches the D and they're on top of him. They had him in the gun on the first series. They move him up underneath. And here's that freshman Callaway. Breon Harris back the of the group. gun with Kelvin Taylor getting the call and he's hidden out for the Gators a little bit of a toss to Taylor got the first down breaks into Aggie territory and a couple of Floridians could have big upside play action Prion looking deep he's got Powell diving for the pylon touchdown Gators Brandon Powell for the first touchdown of this game Bring it up. Series of peace. There's a reach and the handoff. Soft at the bottom. Harris looking into the middle, had vision, fires for the first down. Last year, got that sixth year, and here he comes. Harris on the roll, tosses in underneath. Spinning move for the first down. DeAndre Goolsby. The Gators spreading it around. And then it... Aggies bring pressure with five. There's Robinson's first catch of the game. The offensive line can hold up. He checks first to block. Now he releases. Harris trying to run in that direction. Look for him. He's got Taylor. First down. 35. 30. 25. Calvin Taylor still going. A punishing run. They fake the end around with Powell. Harris is back wide open. It is complete to the tight end McGee. Completely well. Taylor eludes the first tackle. Can he get the edge? Touchdown, Florida. Tonight, just a remarkable thing. Rodgers back for the Aggies. Had an second down and ten. Run the draw play with Rose. And they believe they match up that. Gators rush four. Rogers, receiver, apparently was. Cronkite is going to be his running back. Incomplete through. By. Responds to that. And comes back with Cronkite. Greer moves up under center. And they'll run for the first down with one of their talented freshmen. Folks, when you see play action down that sideline. Goolsby again. The youngster flares. Greer end zone. Touchdown Gators. And 
there is Lewis, another tight end, and now he has made a catch tonight. State as the head coach. Play action. Greer fumble. Ball on the deck. Loose. Aggies jump all over it. Oh, no can take advantage of this. Play action. Fires middle. And Morgan. Second and ten. Now it's Morgan. Put the ball back in his hands. Ryan gives him time. Ryan. Rose bangs for it. Ready defensively. Play action in zone. Second down. Joy draw play. Touchdown, Aggies. With that beautiful 36 yard. Now, Will Greer with his third series. Hands off. Seven now for Greer. Takes off. Quicker than you think. Breaks into the open. Can the safety stop him? They do at the 32 yard line. Hide the quarterback. Now he slips out. And they're going to go to Hargraves. Hargraves in as a wide receiver. Hand off and a slide step cut off. Trying to battle back. Taylor can't get there. Young wide out. Greer looks in that direction. Fires over the top. Taylor's got it. See what Greer comes up with. Touchdown, Greer. Why not his 38-yard run? Put him in business. Drops off the screen pass. And that is Rose running very well. Stone return. Great job by the offensive line. In zone incomplete. Quick strike. Throws a good block. There's a penalty flag. With another offensive player. That Fourth and six. Rodgers sidestep, fires in zone, caught. Morgan. Morgan with the touchdown catch. Touchdown two A. And Taylor trying to get the left edge. Just hit a 52 yarder before. Middle deep. Seven years. Now they got a new system. Trying to drop it off to Taylor. He couldn't get back. Got the snap down, throws underneath. Powell, shitter bugging, dives for the first down. What a great run after the catch. 40 seconds. Sideline. Down and short. And Greer's back. Firing Robinson out of. Trying to blitz him. Fires against it. Siante Lewis, 32 yards for the score. Quick throw, that little bubble screen outside to Robinson. Greer stands in the pocket and delivers. Quick fire for the another tight end. Obviously likes the size of a quick flip to Robinson. The Jets sweep. Touchdown. Callaway's off to his left. Looking at Robinson. To the folks here around Gainesville. We gave him a red shirt. He's going to take off. And pull down. Much better than his last extra point attempt. Good. It's 37. 13. 21 on the game for 119 yards. They're going to. Looked like they were going to throw, and now they are. Morgan throwing it downfield. Jump ball picked off. Hargraves has got it. Here comes Hargraves to midfield. Looking for an alley. Breaks a tackle, and he's down at the 30. If he can finish after that turnover. Flashing to Callaway, and Callaway not much doing on that. Jordan Scarlett is the running back down there number 78 you took a look at he's on the left side ground already and they come with a run with Cronkite powerful run for touchdown Florida Cronkite 
Jordan Conkite from Miami. Snaps it off to the outside. C.J. Wharton, and Wharton with a beautiful run after the catch. High percentage throws in a foot race, downfield, diving. Second down and 10. Scarlett. Touchdown, but uh, was shaken up on that play. Good fake. He's eyeing, and then he slips out. If it's clean, Anthony Harden, he has one field goal on the night. Booms it. Final quarter. Play action. Harris rolling to the right now. And there's Harris. Handing off Scarlett with a strong run for the first down. In the meeting room on the practice field in the games. First and ten. Treon hit from behind on that throw. Scarlett. Just as it zeroed out. Looks back for the first down. 40 yard line now. Play action. Deep down the sideline. Complete. First time we've seen him tonight. Gets the handoff. Slipped on that one. Harris is going to throw. Rolling to the left. Sideline. Caught at the 11 yard line by Josh Grady. The transfer from Vanderbilt. Fourth and three. 25 yards. Scarlett. Powers across. Touchdown, Gators. <laughs> First down and ten. Flash the completed pass and battling for a first and one yard to go. And Gators killing the clock now with the uh, first down. First down and ten. Six forty-six. Harris firing to a wide open receiver inside the 20 yard line. Half of the Gators outside. 25 yards and now that handoff and that conference play open. Low snap picked up by Harris. And he'll be. Herndon, he's covered so Harris takes off and now it'll. Exactly. Harris lobs it wide open. Did he come down in bounds? The back judge looking to see he's got it. Yes, he did. C.J. Wharton, he's from Homestead. He's down south of Miami. Give Treon Harris and both these guys a lot of credit. I mean, they're competing. And you can tell they like each other. They stand by each other. They talk to each other on the bench. You know, you hear competition brings out the best in people. I think that's really the case here because both are playing at such a high level. The other one has to raise his game, and everything benefits this team. I go back to your original point. Don't concentrate on your stats. Concentrate on winning the game. Yeah. Most important thing. Unselfish leadership. All great qualities of, of quarterbacks. And these two guys should feel very good about the way they play tonight. Doug Martin will take. Thank you very much. Good luck. Yeah. Yeah, he's back. Las Cruces. All right, this is your first time coaching for the Florida Gators. You've completed your first game. You got to describe what it feels like to have a win in your call. Well, I tell you what. Anytime you can get a win, no matter where you're at, it's awesome. But this is a special place, and I'm sure happy to be here.